What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 22, problem 74, in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition, by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. And chapter 22 is all about electric fields. And in problem 74, um, we are given, we are asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration of an electron that is in an electric field and we are given the magnitude of that electric field. That's for just for part A. So we know that force is equal to charge times the electric field. And we also know that uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we can actually set those two equal to each other and say um, MA equals QE, and then solve for acceleration, A equals QE over M. And then we actually have those values, so we can say uh, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 times 1.4 times 10 to the 6th, and all that is over uh, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. And then that equals, we'll just say that equals uh, 2.46 times 10 to the 17th meters per second squared. And then in part B, we are asked to find how long it would take for that electron to attain one tenth the speed of the light. So uh, velocity is equal to C over 10. C is the fundamental uh, constant or like variable for the speed of light. So C over 10, so one tenth the speed of light is equal to three times 10 to the seventh meters per second. And we can use our um, mechanics equation and say t equals velocity final minus velocity initial over acceleration. And our initial velocity, since it's starting from rest, is just zero. So this is going to be 3 times 10 to the 7th over 2.46 times 10 to the 17th. And if you plug that into your calculator, you should get 1.22 times 10 to the negative 10th seconds. And lastly, we need to know how far the electron would displace in that time. So again, we can use one of our uh, equations from mechanics and say delta x, or the change in x, is equal to velocity final squared minus velocity initial squared all over 2a, 2 times the acceleration. And we, again, our initial velocity is zero, so we can set that equal to zero. And that's going to equal um, 3 times 10 to the 7th squared over 2 times 2.46 times 10 to the 17th. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 1.83 times 10 to the negative third meters. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.